This interactive clock demo can be found at www.viznos.com. In this video, I'll try and go through some of the features that can be used in the clock. I'm going to start with the minute hand. So we can click and drag the minute hand to any position on the clock. At the same time, the digital clock in the right hand corner will update. We can also drag the hour hand. In this case, it will move a little bit faster. Next, let's look at the basic controls. So in all the demos, if you move the mouse over a particular um, control, a message will appear in the top of the screen, which will tell you what the actual control does. So in this case, on the clock, it tells you um, change format by clicking the buttons below. So in this case, we have a 12 hour format, which is the default, a 24 hour format, which we're gonna click now. So when we click 24, the clock changes and the AM has disappeared. Now, in this case, you can't really tell much difference, but if we move the clock forward through 12 o'clock onto one o'clock, now we see that instead of one, we see 13. You can also turn off the digital clock by clicking off. So the next thing uh, to look at is real time. So the real time button is a toggle button, so it's either on or off. In this case, when we turn it on, the clock will show the actual time according to the computer's clock. So this is useful for um, displaying in the classroom. If we click the random button next to it, we get a random time. So obviously this is a great feature to test. The students can actually tell various times because there's endless possibilities. It also works well with the display of the digital time so they can check if they're correct. So the next control to look at is a select. This is used to select different modes. So we have a choice of angles or style, that's angles. Click it again, I'll select style, and you'll see the actual overall controls change below. So I'm going to start with time. In the time mode, we have two counters, the hours passed and the minutes passed. So if I click the reset button below, they both turn to zero. So this is useful in time problems. Imagine I have a bus that leaves London at 2.35 p.m. And I'm told its journey takes two hours and five minutes. If I move the clock to the correct time, press reset, then I can move the clock forward until I've passed two hours and five minutes. So let's do that. So moving forward, we go past three o'clock, we go past four o'clock, until we finally get to two hours and five minutes, and you can see that the bus arrives at 4.40 p.m. Slightly trivial example, but hopefully it gives you an idea of how to use this part. You can also use these counters with real time. Click the real time button to turn the real time on. Click reset. Now, as the clock moves forward throughout the day, the counters will increase through minutes and hours. Useful for timing. Next, we're gonna look at the angles mode. The angles mode um, is selected down from the drop down list. We have a protractor we can use. We can click on the button and then one will appear. We can drag this protractor around the screen by clicking on the circle in the center and dragging. You probably don't want to do this in the clock, but you do want to change the angle by clicking the right circle. You can also change the scale by clicking so, and you can actually change the size of the protractor, which can be useful for measuring the hour hand by moving the slider. So turning off the protractor, we're now going to consider some of the angles we can actually measure on a clock. So we're gonna select minutes to hour. So that's the angle measured clockwise from the minute to the hour hand. So we can show the angle and we can show the arc by clicking those two relevant buttons. So now we can see we have 195 degrees. If we move it, the angle changes. But you'll notice you can't get 180. The reason for that is because the snap button is on. So if we turn that off, instead of snapping to the nearest minute, we can now get a more exact angle. So the clock hands as they are are quite thick, which makes it difficult to measure angles, um, particularly if you're going to be using the protractor. So we also have a thin toggle button, which when clicked makes thinner hands. Okay, let's look at the other angles we can measure. We're going to click on the um, select at the bottom and we're going to click hours to minutes. Now it's still 180 degrees, but it's measured the other way. Just to show that again, let's click back. So you've got 110 there. So the two different angles. The seconds angle is measured clockwise from 12 o'clock. Now this only really works with real time. 
So this is a great way for students to learn about angles because they get to see how a clock moves through 360 degrees every 60 seconds. The final thing to look at in the angles section is the auto mode. In the auto mode, the protractor, when on, will track the actual positions of the angles. So in this case, I'm changing the position of the minute hand, and as you can see, the protractor is changing position to track that angle. This will also work in real time, and the protractor will move around as the clock progresses. So the final mode is style. I'm going to go through this section very quickly. Um, what you can do then is change various aspects of the styling of the clock. So this is the graduations I'm changing there, so they're round. I'm going to change the clock hands so they're squared. And then you can look at the colours. It's possible to change any colour element on the clock. So this means we can produce a radically different looking clock in the end. Um, so changing some of the colours, graduations to yellow, change the background to black, change the clock face to black, and now the X on the colour picker actually removes colours, so it's possible to remove the numbers by clicking that selection and then X. It's possible to remove the graduations, and now we have a, a clock which is pretty hard to tell the time on. Hopefully this video has given you some ideas on how to use the clock demo. But really the best way is just to play around with the demo itself. So please go ahead and visit www.viznos.com.